Yo, what is up, guy? Young Stabilier, bring you some more high weedle draft league content. And today, I'm bringing you my week 8 match versus Cylindy and Victoria Victini. So, yeah, this match is gonna be very fun for sure. Very, it's gonna be, it has a lot of meaning because we're both in the same conference. And I think right now we're like the top two teams, but it's not actually that close because he's 6 and 1, I'm 4 and 3. So, if I want to make up some distance, I'm gonna have to like win this match or Cylindy's gonna be run away with this conference. So, yeah, this match is going to be very tough for sure. So let me got a very nice team. Uh, yeah, as I've been doing in the previous videos, no no team over, but I'll put my team here and his team here. So yeah, I'll go over his team real quickly. I'm going to go late, call it be Starmie, Salamence, Klefki, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, Chestnut, Hey Marina, Golurk, and the Ratchet Gigu. So yeah, he's got a very threatening team for sure. Uh, yeah, if you guys know Mayo, he helped me draft it. So yeah, very solid team in Mega Golate. It's yeah, this team has got a lot of potential wall breakers in Mega Golade, Free Marina. And then, like, he's got a lot of nice cleaning options with Call of Peace, Salamence, even stuff like Ghostkin and Aerodactyl with a good speed to clean up the train. He's got a lot of nice bulk of Class B, Chestnut, Golurk, Retrovega, stuff like that. So it's really hard to go for. And, like, a lot of his monsters are, like, really good matches for me. So, like, SD, Seamus, Call of Peace, SD, Golade, Dragon Knit, Salamence, Spec, Free Marina. Like, most of his offensive mods have good matches for me. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to like try to deal with that for sure. So I'll go over my team real briefly. Like some of the sets I brought, uh, we got defense in the crows, but mainly there for Mega Golade. Yeah, that thing is a big problem for sure. So defense in the crows, I can kind of handle it. And yeah, I got T Wave. It's my rocker this week. I can get T Wave off on Mega Golade. It'll be really nice with stuff like Inferno and Mana Feet Country. Like take them on down. So yeah, after that we got Choice Drop Crook. Uh, this is a solid thing because like late game it has the potential to clean up. If I'm able to weaken stuff like Chestnut uh, and Aerodactyl, like I can clean up with EQ and even Knockout too, depending on like the mod that I love. So, yeah, with Moxie too, this thing is a potential, like, it, it has a good match. I'm gonna also potentially pursue Trap So, yeah, it should be cool. Let's pick out Wish, uh, like a bulky Wish, like Licky Licky. It's a good pair of the cards. The cards are Moonlight, but yeah, sometimes it might be hard for Moon Knight to get the cards. So, just having a Wish Pass is good in general, also for the main feed, stuff like that. So. Yeah, overall solid mod, and also can, can also like, uh, yeah, this is a solid wish passer for his team for sure. It's got flamethrower for the Klefki, and stuff like Chestnut, Skull of Peace, team solid for sure. So, yeah, next we got Infernape, you got a, uh, a setup, setup, setup with Infernape this time with SD playing cards. So if, if, if I'm able to, like, uh, revenge off a weekend mod or playing cards, and if I have, like, an SD of, like, I can SD up on, like, a weekend Chestnut playing cards on it, then this thing has a good potential to speed because, like, Thunder Punch and like fire coverage is really all I need to like break down most of this team. So yeah, it should be a, it should be really nice to be in front of the to like hopefully get that situation to happen. So next we got like Stack Attack. Uh he got a chestnut, so Stack Attack might not seem that well, but like other than that, Stack Attack is a really good matchup. And also Stack Attack does get Zen Headbutt, so at least has some super effective coverage, even though it might only be like forty to fifty percent. It's so solid if I'm able to like potentially like uh if it's weakened like Chestnut can't quite KO me back if he's not invested in attack, so I can get Zen Headbutt. Uh, get some solid trip and then go for the Zen Headbutt again. Hope we don't hit under trick. Don't hope we don't miss under trick room and I can potentially revenge it. So be should be really solid for sure with stack attack. Uh, uh, another potential late game win con. Then we got a wall breaking man if we can go three attack. Uh, it should be very solid to be surviving will set up. Maybe something like Cleft Key should be pretty cool, or maybe even Aerodactyl. Yeah, I like I'm liking the chance of the man if you can reverse so. That's about it with my team. Let's just hop right into the match. Uh, I decided, like, he's got a lot of, like, all of his mods can be leads, like, I wouldn't be surprised. I was mainly expecting, like, a lead Aerodactyl with Han or something, so I decided to leave it. Uh, I thought I'd go with a safety, which is the Kozo, which matches up pretty well with, like, all of his mods. Uh, yeah, I can fire off a T wave on most of his setup options or a Photon Geyser, and like, he doesn't really have much more, and I can also get up my rock, so. The main reason why I decided to go with the Kozo in here. I decided to go with Mega Glade, which is smart by him because. He has a good match versus most of my team for sure. He decided to go straight for his SD, and that was that was a good play by him because for the most part, if I wasn't D wave, then like, yeah, the Gilly can actually surprisingly just set up for free on the cross because I can't really hit him that hard, and like, I need to be bulky uh, unless like, uh, plus two knockout with two K was pretty easy, so yeah, I have to watch out for that. So, at least by getting a T wave, like, I cripple him like tremendously, and I can potentially like get off the nice trip on his game and get some rocks up and revenge with some other amount of like, friendly for. Mary P, so that should be fun. So, Paralyzing was definitely solid the first time. I get my rocks up. Fortunately, he gets a crit here, which is 
I mean, it was really like unfortunate. I don't think people realize how bad this was because like if I, if I was only left at sixty percent, uh, I can wish for moonlight into this really easy. And now like at one percent, like it might have been a roll like for him to like for like for kill me, but like, yeah, one percent being really unfortunate because like he can set up hazards pretty easily. Like he's got like four pretty good hazards: so it's Call of Beat, Clucky, Aerodactyl, Cats. All of them are good hazards. So yeah, it'd be very hard for me to get the crow's branch for free and getting a moonlight up. Like really, the only thing I can see a moonlighting up on is like chestnut, but that'll be very hard for sure. So yeah, it should be tough. Like uh, I decided to sack this thing off here. Like the crow's branch is really only here for. Delayed. I got my rocks up, like, if I can, like, trip this Glade down, then I can revenge it with something else, so, he makes a really smart play, he was right in the storm, uh, yeah, very smart, because, like, he can map it still, like, get the rocks up and kill me, so, maybe T-Wave again was the best play, predicting that, but, yeah, I thought I'd make aggressive play, go hard crooked out, uh, but I, I was doing some comps, I realized that, uh, yeah, uh, I knew there was a chance he might be Cobra for Scarf Stroke, and he did the Intimidate, and he he just saw me switch hard into the curse, so he's gonna see my, like, Scarf, and, yeah, he's gonna probably predict a Pursuit here, so, I decided to go for Knockoff, he's, like, pretty safe, and I did some counts, and I did see he would kill, like, it would just be crazy, but, you know, attack a good, or it would have a short time, and stuff like, the pros might be with you, so, yeah, fortunately for us, uh, I was correcting my judge, and I go for a knockoff, and we'll get a kill it, me, so, we weren't an early lead here, but, but remember guys, the crows are practically dead, so it's basically 5v5, and, yeah, the crows, like, even with the mock, you can't really, like, see there, because of clutch, the game, trust not there, so, I mean, it's just good to get rid of his, like, star, you, maybe you can get a block later, too, so, yeah, he goes right into chest knot, and knowing he can take anything. I thought I'd go into Crow's Zone because I feel like uh, he might want to get up the spike here, and then we'll, because like, he might think that I might stay and go for knocking over his item or something. So, if I go straight into the Crow's Zone, like, he says the spike, I can move that, and I'll be in a much better position again. But he makes a smart play, go for a drink, but if he gets to kill off on the Crow's Zone, which is very important, it would be losing if it wasn't for it, but it happens. It happens sometimes, so. Yeah. Move back to five to five. I go hard into my infernate because I feel like he might be threatened by my infernate and switch out so I can get a place to time charge. Uh, if our doctor comes out, I can maybe kill it on the time, something like that. So that should be fun for sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's. And I also have SD too, so I could eventually maybe. I think I go for flame charge. Maybe SD was a better play first and then the flame charge, but. Yeah, I was expecting something like Aerodactyl to maybe come out, so SD might just be wasted if I do that. He goes in Aerodactyl this turn. Uh, after he does a super thing, which is definitely reasonable by him because he wants to weaken this down because like it's a big threat now that Galade is in at uh at max speed so uh, because of the paralysis so it go decides to just go harder and make a I mean to a regular aerodactyl but so that that kinda let me think he might be sad so yeah I ripped the potential sweep so uh I thought he does SD on his chest now so I can do as much damage as I can to his team. I just go for Thunder Punch like I knew he might be sad but at least I get him to do damage off. He doesn't make a very uh I'm thinking that's primarily for Mega Ampros, but like, I'm not really sure why, if he was really like, I felt like Sash might be better, but hey, it worked out for him, so, yeah, if I was TC, I probably would have bought this thing, but, yeah, I, I go for Dr. Punch feeling like it might be safer, so, fortunately that's 37%, even a plus 2 with the very, so, yeah, he seems to be pretty bulky to take a Mega Ampros or something, so, he will get the kill up in a friendly, but we're back in like a really like, weird position again, we're down again. Go for a man if you feel like he has a good chance of wall break, at least get some kills out, maybe something like Scott's focus back attack and some sleep later, which is exactly what I go for. But he, he, he has toxic on top, he gets caps, so I try to just, just set up and get as high as I can and just go for some kills. He goes for a light screen, uh, good for him, man if he, and all, he also has heal blocks, so I guess this is potentially for a rain dance rest set, which I was definitely one, one set I was building on initially, but yeah. I mean, here he, he decides to sack Aerodactyl, which I didn't really agree with because it was one of his like EQ immunities for him to sack me. But I felt like it had good purpose in the game for sure. So definitely fortunately sacked because he like he probably should have sacked his Klutzky in here. Like yeah, uh, he just sacks his Aerodactyl and next turn he just sacks his Klutzky. I guess he kind of toxic solid, but man, if he got two kills, I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm like, so very happy it even got two kills. Probably didn't deserve to get this one, but now he's able to revenge you with something like Skull Pizza. Yeah, now I go into my uh, stack attacker. Uh, I can pretty much live most hits. So yeah, uh, unless he like Z Q or something, I should be able to live most hits. And I'm able to get my trick room off of stack attacker. And yeah, I knew like I, if I can get some of my damage off a of dead head, it'd be good for something like Spark Club to country revenge this team. Because now 
Like, I'm seeing that, like, Aerodactyl's gone. I have a good chance to see the Scarf Club soon. Yeah, yeah, I just need to weaken this chest on and I should be good to go. So that's exactly what I go for. That's 44%, not what I expect. Maybe Rocky only, because that's definitely really unfortunate. I mean, I already saw that earlier when I talked about this. Yeah, Rocky Helmet damage. Rocky Helmet really good set on him because it just chips on uh, stack attack and down. Like, if, I, if, I, if there was a Rocky Helmet damage, I would potentially be able to kill it. But yeah, Rocky Helmet damage was just crucial for him. Uh, puts him in a good position to win now, actually. He has his like really accurate and like, doesn't 50 50 down the road. But yeah, I go for Zen Hyper one more time. I, mean, I got closer to Hyrule, but I still don't kill him. He's like a game from so. Yeah, he, uh, chest on still living. As I go into my, uh, Licky Licky, get the flame sword kill, and now I'm looking in really good position to keep the spell quick, so. Yeah, unless he, like, protects Volipede, uh, which I don't think he would be really be SP, probably for my cover, but he needs to cover for my team, so. Yeah. Uh, now I just go into Crook, and. Yeah, as I was talking about the Scallopede, it's probably SP, usually with a attack. Uh, Poison Jab, Megaphone, like, like, something like that, I guess. It'll be good for my team. He already revealed poison. I wonder if he probably already played and he realized he couldn't kill me from full attack attack. Because that thing is just, just, just such a beast. Even with the uh, EVs, you generally run for like the attack boost in nature. It's supposed to take on a lot of this from this one. So, yeah, now with the minus one defense, I know I can kill this thing because I'm an Adam with Scarf Club. So, yeah, it should, like, uh, he might be thinking I'm Jolly, so he might be thinking of Jolly, but no, I'm, I'm Adam inside. I'm pretty much, I guarantee, kill him. The rest of his team now, unless he does protect uh, Mega Spalpy, and if he is, that's good prep by him, I guess. But, um, I really think he should be covered, so we'll see what happens. I go for EQ once, we get the kill, we get the moxie, dude. Let's see if Scar could get off, potentially win another game for us, as it's been doing the entire season, and yes, it does, boy. We will get another win here. Uh, yeah, very solid for sure. Uh, definitely didn't think I was winning this match based on the matchup, and that's one he's a great player for sure. Yeah, don't underestimate Weedle Boys, guys. They're all really solid, man. Yeah, I really respect the way all of them are playing. I'm having very, a lot of fun for sure with all these great players, great guys in general. And Flindy is definitely one of, the, one of the better guys in the league as well. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. We're 5 and 3 now. I'm making a little bit of a comeback after going 3 and 3 out after that. A little bit of stone for plus 11 differential. Yeah, divi our division, like, we're almost there until, like, clinching it. We just need to finish off our last two games. And, yeah. And now we're only one game behind Flindy to concentrate. So, we're able to win out. Maybe Flindy loses a game. Uh, we may be able to tie with him, and who knows, we can potentially go for that top 2 record and uh, clinch the auto-promotion, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, yeah, I expect to not, uh, my video next week to see Dougal and the Bears and the Guardian I think that's what his team is. Yeah, we're, we're playing him next, I expect a good match there for sure. He's got a very good team himself, so, yeah. The last 5 weeks, I can, I swear, I have bad matches in and I guess that's going to be a testament to my team being bad, but... Yeah, we're going to try to be creative with our team building and see what we can do, so... Yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a good time, and have a good day in general. Uh, just stay safe. Uh, yeah, check out the description down below. Like, sub if you enjoyed my content. Enjoy the team content. I'm going to be uploading, too. Drop a like, follow my Twitter, and... Yeah, I think I've advertised myself. Uh, hope you guys all have a very, very good day. Stay safe, and be happy.